Welcome in my math party people. I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach. Let's go ahead and have a good time here. So this is another challenge question. So get ready to learn something new here in terms of how to really interpret word problems the right way. Because remember, they're not always gonna tell you what topic you're dealing with. And that's a big issue that we have to go ahead and deal with. So let's go ahead and let's get started here. Let's understand the situation and let's understand what we need to do. So you know that I always say, read the question first, the sentence question. That way you understand what you're looking for and then you can use the given information to get things done. I'm gonna read this like a true story, front to back though. I'm gonna do this because I want you to pay attention to not the numbers, but the story, okay? So here we go. So two runners warm up by running laps around a track. Can you imagine that? Two people running laps around a track. Okay, cool. Again, just think of this intuitively. Give yourself the time to think about this in plain old English. So. The faster runner completes each lap in two minutes, 15 seconds, while the other takes three minutes per lap. Look, again, let me just take a quick pause. If I'm imagining this, what I'm imagining is we have two runners going around a track, something to this effect, right? There's your track, it doesn't have to be pretty, but you can say again, hey, one runner takes two minutes, 15 seconds, and then the other runner, okay, sounds good. The other runner that we have takes three minutes. Again, if you're imagining this, boom. And again, they both start from the same spot. So we can go ahead and just draw the start spot right here. And we can just imagine this. And the more you imagine the situations, the easier it'll be to imagine them without having to actually draw them in the future. You wanna get used to visualization because again, the better you can visualize a situation, the more you understand it, and the more you can get that wanted and desired outcome, which is the correct answer. So with that, here we are. That's all we've read so far. Two minutes, 15 seconds. The other takes three minutes per lap. Okay. They began together from the start line on the track. And after running for a while, they met at the same exact spot on the track. How long were they running for? Okay. This is the problem again, where you need to figure out what type of math you're doing. The math was not explicitly told to you, but were you able to realize this is a least common multiple problem. This is a least common multiple. How do I know that? Well, think about it like this. They start from the same spot. This person takes two minutes, 15 seconds to run each lap. This person takes three minutes. So think about what will happen. After the green, their first lap, this person's still catching up, they're slower. So we're trying to figure out after how many minutes, when are they gonna be at the same exact spot at the same exact time at the start line? When is that gonna happen again? And so this is a prime example of least common multiple because you're trying to figure out how many times each of these are gonna go and end up at the same place. How soon will they end up at the same spot again? That's least common multiple. How soon, the least common multiple. How many laps, multiple laps, least common multiple. And if you don't believe me, watch this. This is how we're gonna get the answer. The way that we're gonna get the answer is like this. If I have my person here, two minutes and 15 seconds, right? Let me zoom in just a little bit here. I'm gonna show you both times. I have two minutes and 15 seconds. So two minutes, 15 seconds. That's the first lap, okay? This is this person's first lap, three minutes. Okay, now let's go ahead and figure out, okay, second lap. How long is it gonna take each of them for their second lap? Okay, so two minutes and 15 seconds. If I go ahead, multiply that by two, because that's what that'll be, right? We'll end up having four minutes and 30 seconds. Because you add two minutes, add 15 seconds. Yeah, that's what you got. Okay, cool. What about this other person here? Three minutes, okay. We're gonna go ahead and add another three minutes, so that'll be six minutes. Great, sounds good. Now, I mean, we can actually do this one a lot easier, right? Because we can go ahead and add another three minutes to get nine minutes. And you can tell that this is just multiples of three. I don't doubt that you know that for sure, but it's this one over here in green that's gonna be a little bit of a troublemaker for us, right? So if you check this out, you keep adding two minutes, 15 seconds, you'll have six minutes, 45 seconds. So still, again, these are the times that they're gonna be at the start line again, after that complete lap. They're not together, not together there, not together at all yet. They don't have the same time at all yet. But look at what happens. Do it one more time. If I add another two minutes and 15 seconds, here's what happens. If I add another 15 seconds here, that's a whole minute. I add two minutes here, that's eight minutes. 
but now you have eight minutes and 60 seconds. Well, what's 60 seconds again? 60 seconds is a whole minute. I can actually just de re delete that right there. That's nine minutes. That's nine minutes. And there you go. Notice, they both are at the start line after nine minutes. And so with that said, after nine minutes, that's how long it'll take these runners to meet at the same exact spot again. The answer is A. And so my party people, before you, before you move on, give me a second here. The idea here is to be able to break down word problems as best you can. And so two things, if you haven't signed up for my free classes or my free practice test that has video solutions, do yourself that favor. Look at the description of this video, go ahead, find the link to my free help, and you're gonna see that there's a ton of resources that I have on top of my YouTube channel. And number two, if you support what I do, if you enjoy these videos, then all I ask is that you go ahead, like this video, comment your favorite part or comment your support for the channel, and then subscribe to the channel. That way you can see our videos coming out every single day. We're putting out content for free all the time, and we also have paid products and resources that are proven to help you succeed. But you shouldn't have to pay hundreds of dollars to serve our country. So go ahead, start for free, and if you need that extra help, go ahead and hit me up. My phone number is 567 698-8867. You can go ahead and check the link in the description for my full program as well. There's a video that shows you how it all works. That way you know exactly how I help you raise your score and get that job you want. But regardless, again, it's all love here. I want to make sure that you succeed. There's the problem again. My name's Coach Anderson. Let's go ahead and ace the ASVAB, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.